I am so happy you're here. My name is Jen, um, and you're here for my every Wednesday coffee chat at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here on my Instagram and in my free Facebook group. So a little bit about me for those of you that are brand new to my platform. Um, I have been a physical therapist for 25 years, and I transitioned about five five, six, seven years ago, I lost track of time, um, into being a certified life coach. After battling 20 plus years of burnout and overwhelm in healthcare, I started working with a life coach, um, had such a profound transformation that I'm like, I need to bring this to all the women that are just like me. So life coaching has been pivotal in my transformation. It's so much so, like I said, that I got certified so that now I have the tools and skills to help you overcome anxiety, people pleasing, procrastination, and really like break those patterns while putting yourself back on your priority list. And I'm so excited that you're here. So today we're gonna to talk about anxiety. So anxiety is probably one of the hottest topics for my clients, for people that um, hop on a Calm Your Chaos call. That's a free call that I offer to anybody that is struggling. Um, we hop on a free call and just kind of talk about what you're struggling with and you'll leave that call with like three to four tangible things that you can do right now to help but also like in my community. So here on Instagram, in my Facebook community, people are always asking for tips for battling anxiety. So we're going to talk a little bit about like what you need to know about anxiety. But before we start, I wanted to kind of share a story about um, Mary. Mary is now a client of mine, but before that, she um, shared a little bit about her anxiety on our Calm Your Chaos call before she became um, a client. And then I'll share a little bit about her anxiety since joining my group coaching program. So Mary described her anxiety um, like this on our call before she became a coaching client. She said, my anxiety had me in a chokehold and I didn't even realize it. She said, I remember turning 50 and juggling a million things. I was always saying yes to family, friends, work, volunteering, you name it. I said, yes, I convinced myself I could handle it because well, I'd already been doing it for years, but inside I was exhausted. I felt like no matter how much I gave, it was never enough. And one day I was driving to yet another commitment and out of nowhere, I felt this tightness in my chest. My heart was racing, my palms were sweaty, and I just couldn't catch my breath. It was like my body was screaming enough while my mind kept whispering, just keep going. Don't let anybody down. That moment was my wake up call, according to Mary. She realized that her anxiety wasn't just about feeling stressed or overwhelmed. It was her body's way of telling her she'd been running on empty for far too long. She had been putting everyone else's needs ahead of her own to the point that she was disappearing her mental, physical, and emotional well-being was suffering. So this led Mary to joining my group coaching program. And this is what she has to say now about her anxiety. Mary says, I had to learn the hard way that constantly trying to please others without setting boundaries comes at a high cost, our health, our happiness, and our peace of mind. So I started small with Jen. I said no to things that drained me. I set limits. And to my surprise, the world didn't fall, fall apart. And bit by bit, I could feel the weight of my anxiety start to lift. So that's Mary's story, and I had permission to share that. So I wonder if you relate to that at all. I've shared this because I know so many of you might be feeling the same way that Mary felt before joining me. Like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, you're feeling anxious, but just not sure how to change things. But I want you to know that you can, and it all starts with acknowledging that you deserve to set boundaries, you deserve to feel peace, you deserve to feel calm, you deserve to breathe you deserve to be on your priority list. Right now, women are feeling anxious. They feel stressed, they feel overwhelmed. There's so many societal pressures coming at us. There's so much negativity in our society um, right now between politics and natural disasters, and you may be juggling all the things. You may be juggling a career, aging parents, ill parents, teenagers, empty nest syndrome, raising children, <laughs> juggling a marriage, all the things, right? And that leads to more stress, overwhelm, which can lead to anxiety. You might feel um, isolated and like you have no time for yourself. So here's how I help my clients with this. First of all, you need to recognize the signs of anxiety. That's really essential in allowing you to kind of move forward, whether that's seeking support or managing symptoms effectively. So here are a few, quite a few, <laughs> common signs that you might be experiencing anxiety. Excessive worry feeling overwhelmed by worry or fear that it's difficult to control even when there's no apparent threat or danger, 
So those of you that are on live, I would love for you to like give me a heart or a thumbs up if you experience any of these, or even if you're like an anxiety warrior like me and my clients. Another symptom of anxiety is feeling restless or on edge, like experiencing that restlessness, irritability, or a sense of being constantly on edge and keyed up. I sometimes call this the wired but tired feeling. This also help, This also happens when your cortisol is like through the roof. Difficulty concentrating, so finding it challenging to focus on, or concentrate on task due to racing thoughts or feelings of tension. So often people will come to me um, on my Calm Your Chaos calls and they'll be like, Jen, I think I have adult onset ADHD. Come to find out it is overwhelm and anxiety that's kind of leading to what we call brain fog, or it could also be perimenopause <laughs> leading to some brain fog or difficulty concentrating. But as you start to calm your anxiety and control some of those symptoms by taking care of you, the brain fog starts to go away. You may also have sleep disturbances. For me, this was the number one um, issue that I had was having trouble staying asleep. So you may have difficulty falling asleep. You may have difficulty staying asleep. You may get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and then have a hard time getting back to sleep, right? Fatigue, feeling constantly tired or fatigued even after adequate rest due to the mental and physical strain of anxiety. Avoidance behavior. You may avoid situations or activities that trigger your anxiety, such as social gatherings, public speaking, situations where you feel out of control. I had a client who got so anxious going to the dentist, so she didn't go to the dentist for quite a while. Now I'm happy to say that after coaching and being in my group coaching program, she goes to the dentist, still with some anxiety because that is anxiety provoking, but it's to a point where she can control it and get there, get her mouth and teeth taken care of. You may also have panic attacks, okay? So this is a sudden, intense episodes of um, fear or panic, usually accompanied by shortness of breath, chest pain, dizziness, sweating, or feelings of impending doom. You may have changes in your appetite, experiencing changes in appetite such as overeating or undereating due to stress or emotional distress. You may find it challenging to relax or unwind, even during leisure time, like even if you're on vacation, even if it's like family time, you might find it hard to like settle your body, feel safe in your body because of that persistent feeling of tension and anxiety. You may also feel overly sensitive to stimuli such as noise, lights, or crowds, which can also exacerbate those feelings. And procrastination is also a, a symptom and sign of anxiety. Engaging in procrastination or avoidance behavior is a coping mechanism for dealing with the anxiety of doing the task, of putting together the webinar, of putting together the presentation for your boss. We tend to procrastinate to avoid certain feelings, and one of those feelings could be anxiety. So if you recognize these symptoms in yourself or anyone else that, you, that you're close to, it's important to reach out for, for help, whether that's a mental health professional, a life coach, um, but make sure that you're getting getting those support, that support, especially if you're to the point where your anxiety is call, causing you to have panic attacks. You want to make sure that you're speaking to a professional that can really help you. And it's common. I want you to know that anxiety is very common. It's very treatable. And there are many effective strategies available for managing the symptoms and improving your overall well-being. If you're interested in learning more about how to help your anxiety, I'm hosting two different workshops in the next couple of weeks. One is my top 10 tips for battling anxiety. That is October 28th at 10 a.m. And if you're interested in either one of these, just comment class below and I'll reach out to you and make sure you get the information for either one. Um, and then the one in November is gonna be November 4th through the 6th. That's going to be like my top 10 tools for just your overall well-being to kind of take you from that chaos to more calm. So the 28th is focused specifically on anxiety. The one on the November 4th through the 6th is gonna be more of like a masterclass workshop where we're going to kind of be interactive. And I'm gonna be teaching you a lot of the tools and tips as well. So if you're interested in either one of those webinars, um, just comment class, webinar, masterclass below, or reply to wherever you're watching this, and I'll send you some information so that you get the information for whichever one you want to participate in. But also just know that I always offer a free Calm Your Chaos call where we can just connect on the phone for 30 to 60 minutes about what you're struggling with, and I will tell you how I can help, but you're also going to leave that call with three to four things that you can do right now to help you with your struggles. So if you're interested in that, just comment call below and we will connect. Um, what, what will happen if you comment call? I'm going to send you a short little form where you can give me like three different times in the next couple of weeks that work for you for a call and then I will commit to, to making that happen. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. But I want you to know that feeling anxiety 
feeling anxious is so incredibly normal, but you also don't need to st stay that way, okay? You do not need to continue to live with your anxiety. There's lots of things that we can do to help. So reach out, and I hope you have an amazing day.